morning everyone. Welcome back to the Darling Buds of Moon. Today we're off on a little adventure. We're leaving our home and we're taking the kids, Mama Moon and Mia, we're all going off to a French equivalent of a boot fair, which is a Vide Grenier. It's at a place called Arnac Pompadour, um, which we'll show you. It's got a beautiful chateau, a lovely race course. There's lots of stuff going on there. So we'll we'll show you what's there and hopefully you're enjoy our our day out um, and also just to say thank you so much for all the lovely comments and all your support it means the world to us and without you obviously we we couldn't carry on doing what we're doing so keep supporting keep watching and um, yes thank you again This is the entrance to the show jumping arena, the other side of the harass or from the chateau. If I turn you round, you'll be able to see the, the back edge of the chateau. That's going, you can just see the turrets across from there. Just the other side of the road swings round and up here is the, Let's see if we can zoom in for you. There's the start of the stable block. And here is where all the show jumping goes on. So hopefully when we get organized in the future, we'll be able to bring you guys here and watch, um, hopefully watch me compete in one of the horses. So that, that'll be exciting. But yeah, it's a nice outdoor sand arena. It's all floodlit and some really good competitions go on here. There's the the marquee or the restaurant area and the signing in and then up there's the stables which on another visit we'll we'll go up there or I'll see actually I'll have a little wander up and see if we can get up there and show you in the stables so we're just coming up to the stable block the main courtyard area and that is from where there's the it, which I showed you before which is the outdoor arena which is beautiful and then up to I think there's someone riding down there there's the welcome hut and then here's the old-fashioned stable so I'll uh, take you in there and hopefully if there's no one around or I think we're allowed in it's a public area so be able to show you some of the beautiful old-fashioned stables Okay, so we're up at the courtyard. There's a lovely sand arena in the middle of the two stable blocks. There's one wing on this side and mirroring it on the other side, another beautiful stable block and the, the main room or the office. And you can just see over the back to the, to the right, there's another whole stable block running along. So let's just have a wander through here. It's a beautiful setting. There's lovely old trees it's really really spectacular and then going back just panning round that's the main drive in from those two turrets where we came in at the beginning so everywhere is fortified there's walls and i guess back in the day it was important to have have your horses secured i mean it still is today but back then you didn't want anyone taking your army off you so um yeah, it was all set up. Look at these beautiful stables. Lovely old building. It's all had, I think it looks like it's had a new roof at some stage, but all the beautiful stonework and all the old windows. 
And when you come here and you compete now, I think this is where you can actually, or you stable your horses. So when it's not used as, as the, if there's no national horses here, um, this is open to the public for keeping your horses when you stay at the show. And again, exactly, you can see through there where I'm standing directly opposite that whole beautiful stable block mirrors this. We'll carry on and see what's up here. I've never, never been in here, so it's new for me too. Beautiful vaulted ceiling. Just made well, so lots of circulation for the air so the animals are comfortable. And the temperature in here, even with the the doors open, it's a, a a good few degrees cooler than it is outside. So yeah, in the winter you can you know you can close these doors and uh, close the main doors and keep them nice and snug. And then in the summer it can be opened up for ventilation, but because it's got the lovely big stone stone walls, it keeps it nice and cool. And again, another beautiful stable block up the top. You can imagine at one time or another this place would have been absolutely well it's it is on competition days but back in the day when when there were big wars going on and horses well in history horses were needed for transportation and logistics and it would have been absolutely thriving hundreds of horses all hustle and bustle every day and night something going on uh, but now, uh, as the world's changed, it's used for, like we said, equestrian events, whether it's show jumping or dressage. And, um, yeah, not as busy with, with, with obviously, the, the national horses stabled here, but still very much a concern. There's some training going on down in the... Just zoom in down there, I think you can see. There's a few people down there doing some doing some training so yeah it's uh it's just a, it's just so quiet and peaceful at the moment but a few few tourists like myself just having a wander and having a look about just appreciating the the beauty of such a such a setup really Okay, so we've done a little walk round the beautiful old stables. And as you could see from the video, very, very practical. Lovely and cool in the, in the summer, cozy in the winter. The ultimate luxury really for horses. And um, I think that's the thing at the time when back in the day, everyone needed horses, whether it was for, for working or for transportation, logistics, going to war just a complete necessity so everything was geared towards it being a essential part of everyday life and of course now uh, with with modern transport and the way the world's gone the horse is really a, a luxury and um, a very much a lifestyle choice back in the day really everything in the mo in, in that day and age revolved around the horses so it was very very important to keep your horses well and to look after them and um, yeah they provided you with with everything that you would need to be successful to to be able to move around so that, so the whole thing was geared in a completely different way nowadays as I say it's a lifestyle choice and that that affects lots of Lots of different aspects of of the of the world as, as we know it within the horse world. Um, it's changed massively. So beautiful to see these buildings still kept up to up to scratch and to be able to to still come here as an open place and view them. But yeah, everything 
if you look around the the perimeter and going back down to the the drive itself where we came in the two two turrets and the gates very much a an important factor in the design of of an establishment back in the day was to protect your your army which this this was very much a a focus point of, of this whole establishment to protect the horses and keep them safe um, and uh, and now uh, yeah as you see from the other chateau the main chateau the the castle as it were it's all fortified with a moat so yeah every everywhere was set up to be safe and secure and then everyone could get on with the job of looking after the animals and uh, and producing them for whatever it was that their life was going to going to be whether that was pulling a a rifle or a cannon having a soldier on their back to all the other many different things uh, getting food and logistics supplies backwards and forwards all across the country and um, as I'm sure you're all aware that's another whole story of the war horse but yeah lots and lots of history and lots of great stuff here so um, I'm going to go over and see if we can get into the main chateau and yeah see if we can show you a bit over there okay okay so while i've been over there looking around the stables mama moon has been scouring these stalls and has apparently found a little gem so we're going to go and have a look and show you and it's in conjunction with the jenny moon bears and restoration her her thing that she does so um yeah let's see what she's found Some hair for him. Does, does, does he come with a wig? Do you reckon? No? <laughs> no. Okay. No, don't. Merci. 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 So here we are in Chateau Pompadour. It's absolutely breathtaking. I'm here with my new bear, which I'm very excited about. He's gonna come around with us. Um, it's just unbelievable. 
It's so quiet and we're on our own.